Okay, this question is from just here to rant. The question is, how do you effectively teach dribbling? Do you instruct players to look at the ball or the space or other players? What do you, how do you teach players how to dribble effectively? Um, the way I was taught how to dribble effectively was from a, a man named Tom Turnbull out of New Jersey. I believe he still teaches uh, skills and drills training. So if you're in New Jersey watching this, this is January 20, Jan or February 2023, you should seek him out if you're in New Jersey. Um, so he would, he would first have us focus on ball mastery first. That was the, after a warm up, we did ball mastery. And then after ball mastery, we would do uh, sequences. So we would do dribbling sequences. And the one that stands out most in my mind, and it was the first dribbling sequence we learned was outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Hey, Ed. Uh, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. So you'd go, he would, he would say this out loud. So the whole class would be saying this out loud as he would be demonstrating it. And you would say it out loud as you do the, the dribbling. So literally saying it out loud and going slowly outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, then switching to the other foot. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. And he didn't really focus, he didn't tell you focus on the ball or focus on player or focus on space. So he just had us learn the sequence and I, and I believe that as you learn the sequence, your awareness, as you develop muscle memory and you internalized, in, you internalize the sequence verbally um, as well as the, doing the ball mastery, right? Because it's hard, you can't not see everything around you in your field of vision, even if you're focused on the ball. So you could be focused on, on the ball, but as you appreciate and master the sequence, your awareness will improve because instead of having to focus on the sequence, you can expand your vision since it's been mastered. So I think the answer is to don't instruct players to focus on anything. You wanna teach them ball mastery skills and through the ball mastery, they'll be able to, to, to see the ball in their field of vision at the bottom of their vision while still seeing the field. And if you could still see the field, then that means you could see space, time, and players. So what's important is, um, I think, someone who can actually demonstrate the ball mastery, what the, what the ball mastery technique looks like, and someone who can demonstrate what the dribbling sequence looks like right? Because it's monkey see, monkey do. Um, that's an easy way for players to learn. You could, you could show, you could show a lot technically without saying a word, even if players just watch what you're doing. And, you know, even if you don't verbalize what you're doing, if they're watching you do it, they can copy that. So that's just something that I, uh, immediately comes to mind with this question. So I hope this helps, um, reach out with any, any questions. Um, thanks.